1017 FM, 710 Keel. The Keel app is always a free download presented by Office Furniture Source. Robert J. Wright and Aaron McCarty. Joining us for a little bit is the, uh, well, Mr. Scott Smith, Bossier Parish School Superintendent. Hey, Mr. Scott, welcome back to Keel. How you doing today? Hey, just just fine. Uh, good morning, uh, Aaron and Robert. Uh, just great to be on uh, 710 AM Keel at uh, 710 AM. Well, thank you so much, Scott. Um, can, can I first get you to give us an update on the religion rule. I know you were anticipating getting something right. last week. That did not mm-hmm. happen from the judges, right? Right, right. Uh, we anticipate uh, something coming back from the judge, uh, the federal judge, uh, very soon. Uh, we, we, uh, we thought that it would be coming uh, coming in on Friday, but uh, it has not yet. So uh, hopefully maybe something today or tomorrow. We'll, we'll just, uh, But it should be very, very soon. Okay. Mr. Scott, it was sort of felt for a long time by all it was a consensus that that sort of all eyes in that sort of freedom from religion foundation kind of folks that they had you under the microscope in Bossier Parish. Do you still feel that way or do you feel sort of they backed off a little bit? Well, I mean, I mean, obviously we're in a wait and see mode with the with the judge on any kind of resolution to the to the matter. Uh, you know, microscope. I, I'm just not uh, sure. I know that there have been several uh, school systems that have been, uh, you know, that uh, have been Tar- pardon me, targeted. Target- you know, and that type of thing. So I, I just, you know, targeted is no, is not too strong a word. Do you think? Well, you know, if if if, if I go back to what I was originally thinking, you know, uh, you know, you, you don't know. I mean, you, you don't know who but these are. John Doe's that have uh, obviously. Uh, file suit, and uh, we don't know who they are, and so forth, and so it's, it's it's very difficult to know, you know, where it's coming from, and so forth. But you know, I I have to be very careful because it's obviously in the judge's hands, and and uh, I have to be very careful what I say at this point. Hopefully, uh, as soon as the judge does make a decision, then we can get back on and and we can discuss it further. But right now, I'm just kind of in a, a wait and see mode. As, as to what might occur here. Let's talk teacher pay because I know the Bozier School Board, I believe, has <clears> voted <throat> to go to the to the voters uh, to to get more money for teachers. Tell us what's going on. Well, that that's correct, uh, Aaron. Last Thursday night, uh, the board uh, uh, actually made a historic vote uh, to give a, uh, a significant uh, pay increase to our educators, uh, all of our employees of our school system. It would be a straight seven thousand two hundred dollar uh, pay increase uh, for our professional employees and three thousand dollars for our support employees. Uh, more importantly, it uh, very much targets uh, obviously our teachers, uh, where we have uh, had trouble being competitive in, in pay, uh, even with our surrounding parishes. Desoto Parish being one of our uh, largest competitors, obviously. In this area, they're a very high-performing school district. Is this a property and, uh, tax? But it is a property tax. That's that's correct. Uh, that would require a millage, and uh, the millage to be able to pay um, for this entire amount of uh, uh, the property tax would be at twenty-two point nine four mills. How much does that mean for me? Well, it, it, it depends on obviously uh, the amount of property. You know that uh, uh, that you own and what it's uh, valued. Let's just say that uh, someone had a two hundred fifty thousand dollar home uh, with a two hundred fifty thousand dollar home. Then they're probably looking at around a thirty three, little over thirty three dollar increase in their property taxes per month. Per month. So that okay. would, that would be around the average, I would say. Uh, cost of a home in, in, in Bowser Parish. Mr. So Scott Partner, that, that, that's a that's a pretty good show. Seventy two hundred dollars a year. Let's see, twenty bucks a week and a thousand dollars. You're talking about uh, hundred and fifty bucks a week here. How did you come to that figure? Did you sit down with teachers, union bosses? Did you sit down with principals? Did you sit down with other people in, in, in Bozier government? How how did you work that out? Right. Well we talked to a lot of people. I mean we're actually over about fifty five hundred dollars less uh, per year uh, with our first year teacher pay than uh, the soda parish. And, you know, it's very disheartening, you know, because we have to recruit. We have to recruit. And 
and our object is to retain and uh, recruit the very best uh, teachers we can for our classroom. And uh, it's very disheartening when uh, we're at a recruiting event, whether it's East Texas, Arkansas, Northwest Louisiana, and you know they just walk by your table and they're looking at these teachers are looking at the the, the the pay. Now I know that pay is not everything, but it is pretty significant especially when you're trying to recruit and get your best because many of these teachers come out of college and they have uh, college loans that they're having to pay for and uh, and so forth. And so we aim to be competitive. And I think that that's, that this puts us, uh, would put us above uh, DeSoto Parish and a beginning teacher would make uh, right around $50,000. So it'd be a, a significant pay increase. It would give us a significant uh, recruiting uh advantage and also retaining our very best that we have right now and not lose uh, teachers to other school systems uh, that pay higher. 50, we know 000. that we have great benefits mm -hmm. that we uh, that we we have we have really good benefits and this is like pieces of a puzzle and this there's it's, it's kind of a triumph triumph of a puzzle and three pieces here uh, we know that we have good benefits we know that we have great working conditions but the, the thing that we really have been lagging behind in is in teacher pay and trying to get them competitive, you know, with even just surrounding parishes. Fifty thousand for beginning teacher, average average teacher salary for others. What would that go to, and when is this going to be on the ballot? Uh, we're talking about. Well, we're looking at the it, actually what the, uh, the the teachers would do. We're looking at a, uh, an approximately seventeen percent increase for beginning teachers, and then it would move down to about a twelve percent for those that or at the 28 year mark because we that's the last year that we actually have a step in pay increase for our teachers and uh, of course it's a straight seven thousand two hundred dollars you know for uh, all professional employees and a straight three thousand dollars for instance for our bus drivers it would look it'd be around a 15 percent of pay increase the uh we're looking to be on the ballot on may 4th of 2019 so that'll be this may 4th 2019 Important to you that teacher pay comes from locals rather than looking to the state to boost teacher pay? I mean, you're the governor's talking about teacher pay, but you guys aren't waiting. You're like, we're going to do it ourselves. Well, here's the thing. You know, we, we, we can't wait for the state. I don't know what uh, the reason or the purpose. I know that there's been talk about asking for $1,000 uh, for, uh, for teacher pay and I think 500 maybe for uh, support employee pay, but... There's nothing for sure on that. We can't wait on the state. We, uh, we, we have an issue now that we have to deal with. And uh, I think that our public is, is, has come through for the most part. I, I will say, Aaron, that these are the two issues that did not pass back in 2012. Back seven years ago when we were trying to, uh, to we had uh, three issues on the ballot. We had one construction that did pass. And then we had uh, the pay increase, and then we also had uh, infrastructure for technology. And, of course, that's the other issue that's on the ballot as well, is infrastructure for technology. Our infrastructure, we've added 14,500 devices for our uh, students just over the past two years alone. And this is a massive increase. And it's everything that you don't see is where we're needing uh, a massive amount of help. And our infrastructure is beginning to crumble. It cannot keep up with uh, everything that we need to assist those devices that the students are using in the classroom. And, uh, and we're already way behind on that. We're constantly in, in, in the repair mode. Yeah. Uh, but it's to the point where it can't be repaired. Scott Smith, Superintendent, Bozier Schools, thanks for your time. Okay. Thank you very much, you uh, Aaron Roberts.